In our final form and shape video, we're going to use the pen tool. The first thing you need to think about with the pen tool is that it's not at all like writing with a writing pen. What the pen tool does is adds points. And then the points create a path. So every click is where I'm adding a point and the paths are being drawn for me. What I create is actually a vector. So it doesn't matter how I scale it or transform it, the quality stays the same. This differs from a pixel-based object, which may experience a loss of quality as you scale it. You can also draw curves. To draw a curve, before you let go, when you click a point, you pull a direction handle. That's what these are called, direction handles. There's some simple ways of working with direction handles. You can hold the Alt key down and bring that direction handle back in, and that allows you to create a straight line after a curved line. What you need to know about direction handles are they tell the curve where to go. So this direction handle is informing this curve. And it's saying before you come to this point, come up here toward me. This direction handle is informing this curve. And it's saying curve down toward me. So if I click on a direction handle, and pull it in a different direction, I get a different curve. You can use this basic path drawing to create new designs and new shapes. The pen tool is also an illustrator, and that is where you can really begin creating dynamic illustrations. <laughs>